So I was really good at inviting people and getting them to show up for like weekly opportunity presentations at hotels. I know that doesn't happen as much today as it used to in the day, but those really worked for me. Those really worked for me, and I was really good at it. So give me your name again. Earl? Earl? Yes. How you doing, Earl? How are you? Good to see you. So if I, I call up Earl, we'll get you a mic. I call up Earl, and let's say, yeah, give it to Earl, thank you. Um, let's say there's an opportunity presentation at the Sheraton Hotel on Tuesday night at 7 p.m., okay? Okay. And I want Earl to come with me to that event. I, I'm a ninja at this stuff, I'm telling you. Uh, I can, if you want to learn this skill, I will help you. This, this is what I would do. Hey, Earl, I'm in a super hurry. Don't have a lot of time running out the door. There's so much going on. But I'm really glad I caught you. Let me tell you, and then I give him a compliment, whatever that compliment is. You know, you're awesome at this. You're amazing at that. You've got a business mind. It's unbelievable. You're super underpaid for how valuable you are in the world. Whatever it is that I'm going to compliment him with. Okay? Genuine. I'm not making stuff up. I'm really thinking about his best attributes when I do that. Then I do the invitation. Direct, indirect, super indirect, depending on my relationship with him, kind of the social hierarchy. Then I go, listen, <clears throat> there's a special event this Tuesday night for business people at the Sheraton. It's at 7 o'clock. There's a group of entrepreneurs who are going to get together and they're going to discuss ways for us to be able to go into business and to grow a business in our part-time, be able to build something powerful with very, very little upfront capital and a really big upside. If I invited you to that event and if I went with you to go check it out, kick the tires, sit in the back, you know, ask some questions, see what it's all about, would you go with me? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You can do it? Yes. All right, fantastic. Now, it's all about the details. If he says yes, is he going? Nope. <laughs> that is not a commitment at all. That's, oh, there's an after party? See you there. I mean, that's what that is. Um, he's not going. But he says yes. Now it's all about the details. So how far do you live away from the Sheraton? Just pretend. About 20 minutes. About 20 minutes. What time do you get home from work? About 6 o'clock. About 6 o'clock. So it's going to be kind of tight. Yes. Um, do you think it's best that you go home and change, or can you come straight from work? And maybe we grab a, you know, a drink or something ahead of the meeting. I could go straight <coughs> from work. <coughs> straight from work. Yeah. Would that be better uh -huh. than maybe getting stuck at home? Yeah. All right. So if you leave at 6, you're going to get there, what, about? About 6.20. About 6.20, 6.30? Yeah. All right. I'll plan on being there at, at 6.20. Have you been in the, inside of the Sheraton before? Not familiar, though. You're not familiar. As soon as you walk in, there's a big table in the middle of the foyer, and they got a big flower arrangement on it. Okay? Okay. Um, you can't miss it. I'm going to be at that flower arrangement at 620 waiting for you. Okay. Okay? So now what does he have? He has a picture of me standing there. <laughs> Waiting by the flower arrangement in the Sheraton in the hallway at 620. And I said, you know, now I'm only coming early for you. Is 620 realistic? Because, you know, you got to get out of work and all that stuff. Or, or, or is maybe 630? About, about 630, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's just count on 630. Okay. All right. And then, then there's a lounge just to the left of that. We'll go to the lounge. We'll get a Coke or something before the meeting starts. And we'll go check it out. We'll, we'll be incognito. We'll sit in the back, you know. Okay. We'll, we'll take some notes. We'll ask some questions. And then afterwards, we can, you know, maybe grab an appetizer or something before we go home. Sound good? Sounds good. Does that work with your wife and stuff? Do you need to check with her? Um, I think that's going to be okay. All right. Well, would you do me a favor? Would you check with her anyway? Okay. Just check with her anyway and just double confirm with me. Just shoot me a text or something. For sure. All right, yeah. that, that works. Fantastic. And if she's not doing anything, she's welcome to come too. I mean, I, I think I could squeeze one more in invite. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know if you guys are yeah, together at all. Wife, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> I was just, she was nodding. I was just like, either this is it's the wife or this yeah. is a good sign. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but how many questions did I ask there? Did you see what I did? 
What I did was I painted a picture and I created the detail in his mind. Now, if he doesn't show up at 6.30, he should feel bad. <laughs> because I'm standing waiting for him at the flower thing, in the lobby, at the Sheraton, at 6.30. He asked me to call or text if that wasn't going to work. You know, I've taken away all the excuses possible. So it's all about detail. If you want to schedule an appointment for an event, it's all about detail. If it's for a home meeting, let me give you an example for a home meeting. And say, you, you, uh, I'm in a hurry, running out the door, lots of crazy things happening. You give them the compliment, okay? Give them the compliment, and then you do the invite. Direct, indirect, super indirect. Let's say it's indirect. Hey, I'd like you to, you know, there's, there's this, an event that I'm going to be holding at my home. I'm only inviting people that I respect. I'm only inviting people who I believe in when it comes to th that they're underpaid for the value that they have in the world. Those are the only people that I'm inviting. And it's going to last about 45 minutes. Real simple, real easy. If I invited you to that next Thursday night, would you come to my house and be part of that? It's a small group. It's a select group. But, but, but would, you, would you join me? Yes? yes? Fantastic. What's your name? Ryan. Um, so Ryan says yes. Is he coming? No. no. Now it's all about detail. Detail, detail, detail. So Ryan, do you know where I live? Not offhand, no. Oh, not, a, not offhand. Well, I'm gonna, I'll, I will text you my little uh, address so you can map quest it. Um, you'll, tell me where you live right now. You give me the address. All right, are you going to be coming from your house or from work? From my house. From the house. So I just looked it up. It's 22 minutes. <laughs> 22 minutes from the house. We're going to start at 7, but it really is going to be a bummer if, if you're late for some reason. So would you mind coming maybe 15 minutes early? I'll have a few snacks or something for my friends. As long as you got those snacks out. Just a couple <laughs> snacks, all right. Don't get excited. It'll be like pretzels or something. You know what I mean? Uh, so 645 works for you? Super. So just to be safe, you'd have to leave the house around 615? Yep. All right. Thursday, what, what, what time do you get home from work on Thursdays? 530. 530. Oh, so no problem. Nope. The only thing we have to worry about is do you get hijacked as soon as you get home with a whole bunch of stuff? Right. You know, the, the wife and kids and all, all the projects and everything else. Can you do me a favor and make sure you clear the decks? So there isn't anything that's going to get in the way. Do whatever you need to do between now and then so Thursday we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I can do that. All right, perfect. That would be great. Um, and also, would you do me one more favor? On your way over, would you pick up a bag of ice? Oh, yeah. Nice. It'd yes. be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. Crushed or cubed. Could you do that? Cubed would be great. You got it. Yeah, I've got everything else covered. Super. But, but I'd hate for everybody else to have uniced beverages. So, um, so, fantastic. I can't wait. Now, if something comes up, will you check with your wife, check with the kids, find out that there's no dance recitals, there's no games, there's no anything else that's going to get in the way on Thursday night? And we're having a few spouses that are coming too, so if you get a sitter and want to bring your spouse, that, that would be awesome. We're just going to, it's going to be real informal, 45 minutes. You just kind of lay out what we're doing and go from there. That'd be great. That'd be I'm great? Sure, sure she'd like to come. All right, fantastic. She'd like to come. Do me a favor, though. I only have so much room. Text me and let me know. You got it. All right, fantastic. Now, all is, is that what I just did easy or hard? Easy. easy. The, here's the thing. The yes is not a yes. But when I start asking, what time do you get home from work? What do you got to do between then and the time you got to leave at 6.15? You know, is anything going to get in the way? Can you clear the decks ahead of time? He's going, oh, this is for real. I guess I'm going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bring in the spouse. Okay, I'll tell my wife that your, your spouse is coming. Oh, shit. Now I... <laughs> well, you grab a bag of chips, grab a bag of ice, grab, you know, a little thing of cookies or something. All right. <laughs> See you there. I guess we're co-hosting this thing. <laughs> I will tell you, if you teach that inside of your group, the results are going to be dramatic. Dramatic. If I invite 20 people to a home meeting, 
15 to 17 are showing up. The average person invites 20 people to a home meeting. Two to four, maybe five, are showing up. The difference, they invited. I got the details. It's all about the details. Now, am I trying to trick them? Am I trying to do something weird with them? My goal is still the same and my heart is still the same. Education and understanding. That's all I'm trying to do. Education and understanding. I know that in his best interest, seeing this in front of this small group is going to be more powerful than him watching a video online. I know from my caring about him that him meeting some other people that are doing this and having success and seeing some social proof is going to give him a better picture, a better vision of what this, what this has to offer versus me talking to him over the phone. So it's not about some trick. It's not about anything other than having his best interest at heart, the key to the invitation. Quantity and details. Quantity and details. 